please the soldiers and pay attention to them. That is not to say that fighting the corruption in the police force. So many of the youths have been killed innocently. Massacred for dressing well. Massacred for holding a laptop. We all know that we are now in an internet war where you can do your business on internet. It's not everybody that holds laptop that is a Yahoo Yahoo boy. So the rate at which young men have been killed, bastardized, destroyed, is terrible. So let us begin to look at it. It's not a one-way thing. It's a two-way thing. From the salary of the police and to the abuse of power from some few elements, few elements, like what we pastors are suffering. You don't find out that all prophets are corrupt, all prophets are this, it's everywhere. But let us not generalize it. Let's deal with the bad eggs, bring them out and work on them. And I feel it's not just about the police, the issue of bad government. When there is a bad government, we are going to have issue of poor governance or poor attention to things that matters. When we have one single person having house in Dubai, having house in America, having house in Canada, having house everywhere, looting money. Money that will be able to pay the police and their morale will, will be high and they will, and they will deliver the way they ought to deliver. So this issue is not just an issue that has to do with just military. I, in, in my own few words, I want to say the soldiers, the police are doing well. And let's be very, very careful so that we don't just eat up the morale of most of these people who are protecting us. So that when we get to that particular point whereby police are no longer doing their work the way it is, the crime rate will increase and there's going to be a lot of lives that are going to be in trouble. Right now there are people being kidnapped in Abuja here and so many things are happening because of the rate of the standard of living has gone down, inflation is everywhere and things is happening. Lives are being affected. So let's be very careful. Even I'm talking to us even as youth. Let's be very, very careful with the way we do and make sure that we are constructive in even in everything we do. We should balance our criticism so that we'll be able to think through and sit around the table and dialogue and have a headway. But that does not say that the vision I saw <laughs> should not be given attention by the government of the day. If you don't give that vision attention, we're going to have what we might not be able to handle. We're ready to pray. Open your mouth. Pray for Nigeria as God wants you to pray for Nigeria. We pack at our doors, we cut at our doors. Yet a suko prekete kete lelish. We cut a kapa kata. Ego zoka ta lego dosa. We kapa ta la do zoko de. We kapa to si kapa ta. We kapa ta la do zi kete. Yet a supra di kaka ta la do. Leshate bay. We kato loko to se paradi. We kopre te kete kete kete. We kapa kaka ta la ta. Ego prekete kete. Our leaders don't treat the source of these symptoms. What we are seeing now is symptoms. 
the source of these symptoms um, there's no way we will not get to a part where we begin to define and begin to decide whether we stay together that's the truth you cannot continue to suppress a voice that cries for justice when there is injustice the reason why we are having these symptoms these are symptoms this is not the real thing we are having the symptoms we are just clamoring uh, against the symptoms the disbandment of sound or sars is not the issue once we have a place producing oil and there's water pollution air pollution and they are not attended to and the resources from this place are taken away to other parts of the other country and the people who produces these resources are not enjoying the resources from their land it is injustice we cannot continue to have people who think we are part of this country and they have never been a president in one way or the other there is a certain group in this country that never rule this country the, the highest they could get is vice president you can't say there are things when there are injustice there's going to be a problem we have to define how to rotate power from one region to another that this region we have to hold on for this region to rule and this region we have to hold on for that region to rule it is not just have to it does not have to be one particular region to the detriment of the other region you can't force it it injustice is injustice until we have leaders who are capable to just stand up do what is right if not we continue to use the police force we use the military and everything to suppress the voice of justice. And there's a point where the voice of justice cannot be suppressed. It will lead to what we are praying against. And that's why it is good for every stakeholders in this country to talk about the injustice that is happening to certain regions and the justice that is happening to certain regions. And say so it has to go down. If you talk about Nigeria, we are one, but are the resources distributed judiciously? Are we having the power share judiciously? Are there people who are suffering from the other place? You cannot continue to beat a baby and tell the baby to keep quiet. Pray again and say, Lord, help our leaders to make good decisions. To make good decisions. That we bring about the unity of this country. That